Hey y'all, it's Leslie and I'm here this morning and I have a little bit of a scratch in my throat so I hope I can make it through the video. <clears throat> but I had promised you that I would come and show you some of the things that I've been doing behind the scenes and most of what I've been doing is organizational type things but I've also like made some organization, well it's not really that I've made some organization but I've, I've uh, reworked some organization, made it look better, that sort of thing. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is this. It is a four drawer unit. It's about um, 13 or 14 inches wide and, you know, five or six inches um, deep and um, maybe uh, 12 inches tall. And it's a four drawer unit. And I did not take up a fourth picture. Sorry about that. If I found one in my stash somewhere, I'll throw it in. But I don't think I'm going to find one. First of all, I don't think I'm even going to go go look because I don't think it exists. Yes, my daughter has already filled it, but I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and tilt it on its side. The fronts of the drawers, this unit came from a dollar store in my town. And the fronts of the drawers were a lime green and yellow color with a gray, not gray, a white geometric modern pattern on them. And as you saw, um, before I tilted it over maybe, um, there's the casing is very distressed and gray. Now that's how it actually came. It's beautiful. And that's why I bought it is because of that. But the drawers are hideous. So I brought it home and I hand painted them <clears throat> before I knew about primer and the importance of gesso and primer and all of that. And I hand painted them a, um, what should have been a mint green color, but it came out more of an aqua blue color. I guess because of the background, I have no idea, but it did. It looked hideous, so then I tried to gesso over it. Again, I didn't know very much about gesso, and I thought, well, gesso is a one coat thing and it should cover it up. Well, it didn't, but it made it a little better and it was more like a sky blue but it never matched and it looked bad and it had these crystal looking knobs on it that I didn't care for. So what I did was I took, oh, this was going to be my daughter's unit and I'll show you why <clears throat> in just a moment. But um, I was um, giving this to my daughter for her uh, craft station, which is over there, and I'll show you that one day um, soon, maybe, in a craft tour, um, if I clean up enough for that, and leave it clean enough for that. So, my daughter loves music. Music is is her heart. I, music is one of the things that helped her when she was the most depressed that she's ever been. She has major depressive disorder, and... Um, we almost lost her to it. And, oh golly, I can't believe I said that. Well, the point is, is that music helped her. Music was one of the things that she could cling to um, when she was struggling the most. So, I decoupaged a sheet. It was a 12 by 12 sheet of music and it worked perfectly. And, I don't know if you can tell, but it sort of, you know, this, this treble clef continues on to the next drawer. <clears throat> absolutely loved it. Again, I hated the hideous um, crystal knobs, so what I did was I took um, these are little bitty wood knobs. You get two of them. I don't know. Maybe there's three in a pack, but I think there's two in a pack uh, for 50 cents or something like that at the hardware store. And so I spray painted them white, just in a flat white, and then I took black paint with my finger and went around the edge to give a faux enamelware look because I didn't like them just plain white next to it. So I thought, well, if I do that, because I've got a few things that are enamelware in the craft room. Well, okay, I fell in love with this, these knobs, so much that I did the next project. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Oof. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Okay, so I use um, um, 
metal cans and um, jars that have lids and, and things like that for organization. I mean, most of you do. And some of the lids were shiny silver like this. Some of the lids were um, a galvanized metallic, you know, like that down in there. And <clears throat> some of the items are just old. Like this is, I think, maybe a coffee can or a big no this was a big ketchup can when I make my big batch of um, barbecue sauce um so uh you know I, I use this as storage too this is my um uh thread scraps this um loose thread scraps and my grandmother used to keep um a soup can of this and when she got a full soup can she made a pin cushion so I'm gonna make a little bitty pillow I think out of mine so uh anyway so what I did was I spray painted them white and then again I went around with my finger and I just you know stopped in a couple of sections and I'll show you my inspiration for that I have real enamelware but then I got this faux enamelware from um Hobby Lobby and there's places you know where it doesn't have it all the way and so I kind of went along with that. They also have some places with brown paint. I just haven't added that yet. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to. So I did those things. It, I mean, they're all over my craft room. I also had in a haul a while back, you can find that after, I think it was after Halloween, I found these at Target uh, for like 25 cents, maybe even 20 cents. But, um, they're, you know, they remind me of those little ones from Ikea that I have always wanted. Well, I found them. They have these little, um, um, those things. It's not a bat. It's a leaf. <laughs> and so they were black, which wasn't bad in my craft room, but really, you know, most everything's white except the TV. And so what I decided to do was spray paint these white. I did not go around the edges with the enamel wear because, I, I, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that for this. And the reason I'm pointing these out is to tell you that sometimes you will find something at a thrift store or you'll find something at, you know, garage sales or, at, like I said, at Target or Hobby Lobby or whatever. Sorry, I'm grabbing another item. And it'll be a hideous item. For example, I don't know if you remember these, but I bought these. These were 10 cents. Do you see the orange peeking through right there? Yep. And then maybe a little bit inside. Yeah. Um, these were purple and orange. And I got uh, five of them to so that I could put my name on them to hang on a, a, a garland on the banner of our house. Well... Uh, so I spray painted them white because obviously I didn't want orange and pink because, you know, that's Halloween and I wanted these for a different time of year. So I spray painted them white, put the little faux enamel wear black on there and, you know, of course made a mess. And, you know, that's fine too because that happens. Like I said, I have real enamel wear so I know kind of, you know, how that goes and um, some of the cheaper enamel wear um, of the day didn't have the nice neat edges. Here's an example of one of the real bowls and you can see that it's not perfect on the edges. Um, and it, you know, underneath it's got, you know, definitely spots that have broken off over the years, but again, it's got spaces where it was just not done neatly. So I, I know that that was going to play in really well with my MS since I'm shaky anyway. But this is another item I wanted to point out. Sometimes you find things at a thrift store and you're like, oh, I really love the shape. I think it's so cute. And I love that it has these little um, flower things on it. So spray paint it. This was that old melamine type stuff, probably from the 70s. And the reason I say the 70s is because it was a hideous yellow color like that. That's the color it used to be. It's this color. It had just yellowed over the age or either it was that harvest gold color from the 70s. Well, you can see that I didn't do a really good job. Maybe you can tell. Yeah, you can tell I didn't do a really good job. There's, there's kind of some yellowing showing in the flowers. But overall, it looks, I mean, it looks great now. That's so cute. So cute. And this gets covered up by my lace scraps. 
And then it sits over here in, well, for right now it's sitting in my corner. I'm redoing the top of my desk, so I haven't really decided on everything. But other things that you can spray paint would be like glass. Spray paint it. If you spray paint it with, okay. What I use. Okay, what I use is this. Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2X Ultra Cover Paint Plus Primer. And it bonds to plastic. I use flat white. The satin is great too. I, I actually have used them all. The gloss as well. Um, these work great. I've even used them on um, that uh, uh, veneer. You know, those cheap book cases you get at Walmart. It's got that, that plastic veneer over the top of it. I've used this on them and it works pretty well. Um, nothing is going to make something stick to those veneer shells like really, really well, but, but this works great. I, I haven't found anything that this doesn't work on um, to give you a good coat and stay there yet. I've used it on everything under the sun so far. Glass, metal, plastic, um, paper, everything. So, that's a good thing. So, just um, keep that in mind. So, different uh, things that you can do and make your organization work for you so that it's all, not all different colors. And once things are in a uniform um, color family for you, uh, that may be the thing that actually makes it work better for you in your space. Um, the Dollar Tree has organization bins, we all know that, uh, that are that are really cute, but sometimes they may not be in the color that you really like. I just haven't spray painted this yet, but I have spray painted the ones from Dollar Tree because they're just absolutely cute. But, you know, I don't want this aqua blue in my room. So, I just wanted to point that out to you and show you a couple things I've done in the, in the meantime, and I will be back with more later. Thank y'all. Bye. Oh, please like and subscribe if you have any suggestions for me on videos that you'd like to see. Please leave them below. Thanks. Bye.